Welcome back. We are protecting a uh, relay station thing today. Um, and if we fail, uh, our intelligence gathering operations uh, get fucked. So let's not fail. Reaper, what do you got for me? Nothing, huh? Interesting. Um, are you being blocked by people? Kinda. Not really, but kinda. I might run and gun here to get us as close to this thing as soon as possible and still have a reaction fire. Although... We're a shotgunner anyway, so we don't really get much for reaction there. Uh, we can move these guys around and start to see if we can see anything too. Or we can just hunker down in here. Maybe not tilt our hand too far. Hmm. Let's grab you. Let's peek out this door towards the front. Nothing. Oh, uh, oh, that's a hack. Okay, yes. You're a sniper? Okay. Where do I want to put you that you're going to be able to be useful? And not get fucking destroyed. Uh, we could run you up here. Up here. You can get flanked from that direction. What if we put you up here on a window? Maybe that's the play. Uh, I'm worried if we run outside the back here, we might see something, though. And I don't think I want to risk that right now. So I think we kind of just chill in there for a little bit. Hmm. Death Knell has no good grapples available. Why don't you run up here ahead? Gator can keep moving that line forward, which is maybe viable. Mangler, uh, you can move forward a decent bit. Let's let's do it. We need to get over to that thing as soon as possible. Okay, I mean, that's safe then. So let's sprint. Um, let's just get these guys... Maybe over here. Sniper. Oh, that's our guy. That's Tombstone. Oh, shit. And he's like unequipped too, which is a little, a little dangerous. Um, I'm on it. We're going to be careful to not get him killed. Well, there's no heat yet. Do I want to bring up the rear with an overwatch? Probably not. I think we just run. Try to get over there as soon as possible before they get hit. Okay. Well, it's a good thing we got to move on when we could. Safely. The assassin is here. Uh, blast shield, reduce damage from explosions, higher chance to graze, defense and dodge against reaction fire, melee attacks, you have a bonus, weak to bewildered, three plus, additional damage from three plus attacks in a single turn, and bonus from Templars, of which we didn't bring any. We should have considered that, um, what their weaknesses were. Oh, and they just meld away, we right? Fuck. She's on the squad's position. What do we do to reveal her? I actually don't know the best way to handle the assassin. Off the top of my head. Okay, well I think we're just going to kind of creep up here with overwatches then. Because I'm now a scared person. Watch. Affirmative. Covering now. 
I want my front line to keep moving forward. Yep. What do we got here? Advanced form of concealment. I think we just lay down the overwatches. No problem, boss. Because we don't know where they are. You can't reach the other building yet. Um, we'll just overwatch you as well. I just don't know where they are. No problem, boss. On Overwatch. If you say so. Come get some. Let's just yeah, oh. form up here. Overwatch. Harbor wave. That sounds bad. Don't like anything that sounds like a wave. Okay, they got fucking destroyed. Enjoy these fleeting breaths while they last. Grasp at the frayed edges of your life. Oh man. But their time grows ever shorter. Okay. Oh my god, that was lucky. Your forces grow weaker with every breath. At one time your people fought honorably. Now you All right, Scorpion. Like you got a over a flanking shot from here. Let's go take it and see what we can deal with. Uh, you can see that sidewinder. If we do a slug shot, 100%, 5 to 8. Uh, yeah, I think we'll just take that. Nice crit. Nice kill. Well, how about that? Now, where is this fucking assassin, do you think? It seems to me we kind of need to spread out. Uh, Tombstone especially is kind of getting fucked over here. We can get him up here. I think we get him out of there. We get him up top. His best chance of surviving, maybe. Uh, we can take a free targeting on him first. Let's get you moving this way and see what you got for grapples that you can pull off, maybe. Uh, are you... You're, yeah, that's a decent spot, but you don't have any good fire. Um, I think we have to take it, though. We might be able to do a good grenade from there, maybe. Oh, we can see the assassin down below in the back. Where, where is it? Oh, nope, not back there. Now we can't see him, but they're there somewhere. Well, we can get a frag out here. It's not phenomenal. Gator, run and gun. Could do a run and gun into an arc throw on the lower level. Uh, we can get a flank on that viper. Only if we expose ourselves. Not great. Oh, Stalker's got a shot from here. That's pretty good. There's that, uh, the, the Chosen again. They're, like, right there behind that fence, I think. Uh, probably just take this shot, huh? Four to seven. It can kill. Four crit damage. 42% crit chance is pretty good, actually. Let's do it. Nice. Nice kill. Very nice kill. Okay, s let's find the sniper, our sniper. Um... Get them the fuck out of there. Tombstone, don't get killed. Don't get killed for this mission. You just run right up here. Get the fuck out of there.
All right, Cobalt. No good preview. Buddy is not going to have shit. Um, Gator can run a gun. Let's get Cyber moving first. You do have a shot from here. Confirmed. We could try Rocket shenanigans. 65, actually. Immobilize would be really good on the um, Chosen. We could move those soldiers over to try and get a, a line of sight up on the Chosen. So we know where they are. You can run a gun, and then you have a rifle, but you also have the stun. Might be worth getting the stun up. I'm coming for you. Affirmative. 63, though, to hit. 88 on the stun. Those are pretty good odds, all things considered. We can take this and see if it connects. Otherwise, what do we do? What would we do? We could rock it back here kind of blindly. Yeah, that doesn't really achieve much. There's the suppression. Oh, uh, let's just take the shot. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I'm already pretty happy with this round. Um... Hmm, buddy, there is that, oh, hold on, you have a shot on the roof? Oh, you do. I feel like that wasn't there before. I might just be misremembering, though. Um, I think we'll take this. Okay, not bad. I guess you just can run over to here. I guess my residual fear is that harbor wave. If they can get up top and drop that on our big group, that'd be pretty bad. I'm going. Um, can we do much with a plasma grenade here? Kind of almost. Actually, hold on. Oh, I already put him on the fucking overwatch. I could have used an action there probably to pull something off. Um, I guess, why don't you just run up further? That way you're in a better position for grenade things. We'll take the 8-8 Arc Pulse and the Sectoid just to take them out of the equation for a turn maybe. I guess there's an argument that maybe I wanted to hold that for the Chosen. Um, we can try and take that shot on the sectoid, which is probably good to spread these people out, at least, for the assassin. It puts them over on this side, too, which means if the assassin comes after them, they're uh, a little bit closer to us. We could frag. Um, two to five, it's a chance to kill, and if it doesn't, we could frag to kill the other one. But then we, why did we bother stunning it at that point, though, right? Yeah, you can move to here. Pop the door. Uh, can we get a grenade on him? He's over here somewhere, and I can't see him quite yet. Which is rather unfortunate. You can get out here further. A little risky. But I really want line of sight up on that Chosen. Let's do it. Oh, that's a Rocketeer in the back. Fuck shit. Okay. Um, still can't see that Chosen. Can you... You cannot rocket... Or you cannot grenade the Rocketeer. I might need to take these shots on the Rocketeer.
Otherwise, he can do a lot of damage. Shit. You can't kill him now. Uh, do we flash this guy? Maybe that fucks up the rockets? Maybe he can't rocket if we disorient. This one's gonna be bright. I have a feeling these guys are gonna die. You uh, let's save the grenade and take the shot. Wow. Okay. Secured the kill. Stun was a waste. Yeah, saw that coming. Still can't see him. It's a little annoying. Hit and run kills another one. Are you shitting me? Okay. Well, we know exactly where they are. They just fucking shredded some shit there. Okay, we got a guy over there firing at that. Death now, maybe we move you first, buddy. You to flank up over there. Uh, let's take that. Is the assassin invisible? Like, what the fuck's going on here? Shouldn't we be able to see it? We know right where it is. Oops. Well, let's grab somebody else. Stalker? You can see it from here. Okay. That's good. Yeah, this is the only target they have, so we might as well just take this. Uh, you're going up top. Interesting choice. Sniper. 100%. Rapid target. And go for the big hit, I suppose. Well, relatively speaking, it is, it is a basic sniper rifle, so... It's not really a big hit. It's a big hit compared to that tier of weapons relatively. Ah, uh, that's a thing that happens, huh? You just reaction attack. Okay. I'm not a fan of that. Can we drop a grenade on the roof and knock you? I don't think so because we don't destroy stuff, right? With these grenades. I mean, you could take a few knocks, but like. Why will this ability not highlight? Uh, we can get the kill and then move. That's maybe the play. We get this kill for sure, and then we can reposition. But then the assassin needs to do something else. Rather than just pick on us. So let's keep it on the roof, I guess, as much as we can here. Uh, you can get a stun. That's solid. Maybe, maybe, maybe just take the stun, period. Don't even move, really, at this point. Don't want to run the risk of anything here changing when we have 100% stun chance. Unless it doesn't do anything. Uh, take the maim, for sure. Also, 100% will take this. 
Holds it in place, shreds. Seems pretty good. Ah, uh, yeah, take your double shots. Don't even move, take two shots. We're gonna, we're gonna fucking take this dude down this round. We're just gonna burn him. Oh, you can move, huh? It's a little... It's a little weird. Dual strike. Shot with them and the bond mate. Free action for the bond mate. Seems pretty good. Executioner's active, which is good too. Don't know who the bond mate is exactly. Three entire damage. Okay. Solid. Are you going to hit them again? Ouch. We need a kill now. Why is the damage like capped at three? It like is capped at three. That's kind of fucked. What if we suppress him? Does that work? I mean, if we suppress and it doesn't do anything, and then they hit, I don't think it's worth it. Because it'll just result in a death without achieving anything. Five to nine, but I don't believe the damage, because everything is just three, apparently. Um, we just have to take some shots, ultimately. No crit chance allowed, apparently. So they're gonna hit them again. Finally, a true strike. Bleeding out, we can get them saved. Okay, they're off the board. My ammo's running low. Now we gotta get them stabilized. Uh, we have med kits. Though it pains me to flee from a worthy adversary, the elders will not allow me to die in this world. We will meet again. We've proven the Chosen can be hurt. Now we just have to work on putting them down for good. Where do we want to move here? Um, do we want to risk pulling that pod? I think it's better if we just let them shoot at the um, the beacon for a turn. Uh, I can move here. I don't think we'll trigger it if that guy didn't from there. Seems doable. Got it covered. All right. Well, there they are. You tried, friend, you tried. Missed. Oh, there's another pot like right there. Okay, well, it's not as good then. Not even close. They aren't triggered yet. Okay. You have a med kit. Oh, did that other one have a med kit? Hold on. No. Heading out. Uh, hope you're not blocking a way down. No, you're fine. Um, hull targeting an advent trooper there in the back. You, I need to get over here. That guy's blocking the way up. Whatever you say. 
Okay, we pulled the other group. Thought that might happen. Oh, man, we can't quite get a value grenade off here, huh? Oh, damn. Oh, these ones? Yeah, we can hit them. That's not bad. Yeah, that was pretty good. That was pretty solid. All right, I uh, might have you go grab this. Take a core. And then might just have you get in here. That way you're in a position to do something next turn. Um, if we move here, we could maybe get flanked from behind. We could take the roof. Actually, the roof's not bad, huh? We do have elevation on this character, I think. Do we? No. But the roof is still not bad here. All right, Mangler's the one who needs to get up there. Um, so we got to get this guy out of here. I think we might pull him back. Try and keep him alive so that the Haven's not, like, completely fucked. You have walk fire. Uh, not enough ammo for it, I guess. The scout at 82. I think I want to kill that scout. If we grab Gator. No, if we grab... Uh, I forget what the sniper's name is now. Oh, I just went past him. Shit. You, hollow target the scout. Let's get him off the board next. Ninety-two. Take it. Look at that. Nailed him. All right, Gator. Where was the medic? You're the medic. You need to get up here. Where's the? Oh, where, how do we get to the roof proper? Do we have to go through the back? Because there's no. Oh no, there's a pipe there. There is a pipe there. All right, you run there. So you can stabilize next turn. Just get you moving before anything bad happens. Uh, Scorpion, you can run and gun and trench gun. Or just run and gun and shoot a dude. Guy back there, guy back there, guy there under half, and a guy back there. You can't get any flanks, so maybe run and gun should best be saved. Maybe. Conversely, his cover options are somewhat limited. Uh, you have a rocket. We could try and rocket some shit. Maybe put you here, launch a rocket over towards this arc. Don't think you're gonna do much else this turn. Let's see what we can do with a rocket. We got that, just that armored guy in the back, maybe? Oh, we can do this. Sure. Okay, it's something. Actually, broke his cover, so that's fine. Your running gun is not available. You can get a flank shot. You can't see anything from there. Uh, anything through the window? No. Okay, so you don't really have much. You can run and gun, like, all the way up to here. Which isn't bad. Or over to here. And then, like, slug shot. Gator and Scorpion are all that's left. Okay. 
Yeah, so I guess we'll just put Gator here and like Overwatch for a turn. I'm going. And then Scorpion, we can reposition up here or over here. Probably here and take that shot. Yeah, trench gun's almost amazing. 98% or slug to guarantee. We'll do the slug. Yeah, I think we'll just take you off. Then we have a sentry and a shield bearer. That's not that bad. We can deal with that. 15 damage. Wow. I'm going to throw you on an overwatch here. Okay, you're overwatching. Oh, I missed him. Over there, I forgot about him, but that's fine. He doesn't have a good shot. They're all over me. That's not bad. And then Shield Bearer will probably shield, right? Uh, he moved to a flankable position. Interesting choice. Just got hot okay, first things first. Let's get you not dead. Or not 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 bleeding <laughs> out. You'll still be down, right? But we can stop you from dying. You will live. That's the big thing. So we're going to overwatch up in the back. 47 on the sentry. 37. We could do impact fields. Reduces damage. And then move to pop the overwatch. Um, into... I don't know. Somewhere. Sniper, can you see something? You can. 62 on the Stun Lancer. Honestly, I'll take that. I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. You can get a lot of line of fire but not much in terms of interesting shots. You, know, you don't pop the overwatch. And you can't see him either. Um, I think we'll take this. Try to get the stun lancer off the board next. Close, close. Uh, Graze will do it now. Yeah, you just hang out, dude. He gets the flank, but he can't do anything with it, right? Cobalt only gets the flank if they expose themselves entirely. Which can be okay if we've taken the other stuff out. Who do you see from there? Oh, hold on. We got a, a flank. Ooh, that's pretty high value for a flank. We'll take the overwatch fire. Do I want to take it on him or do I want to take it on him? I think we take it on him. Pop impact fields. Oh, that takes an action, which kind of sucks. Um, I didn't realize that took an action. I thought that was a freebie, but it's a, not just not turn ending, which is why it's white. Still, that's fair. Um, all right, then we'll just move. Seems doable. Okay, well. Took slightly less damage than we we're gonna otherwise. I'm going. 
Uh, I could just frag that guy to take him out. We have the flank shot on the shield bear, but it's actually pretty miserable because he's a shotgunner. I could handle that. Ninety-four percent on the sentry. Three to six. How much HP does he have? Six. Five. Or we just stun him and move even closer. We just take the stun, it's free. It takes him off the board for the turn, that's the big deal. I keep saying that off the board now, I don't know why I'm saying that all the time suddenly. I mean, it's apt. This is like a board. Okay, I think... I want to take out... This guy. That'll kind of open up some other options. We can get a flash on him. That's not bad. 55% on the sentry, 45% here. If I wanted to be cheeky, I could move over here for the flank shot on the shield bearer. Yeah, here's what we'll do. Frag, kill him, get him out of here. Nice. Staff Sergeant. Let's flash you. Better close your eyes. And then the last action is Cobalt. So we can move Cobalt here for a flank shot. They'll be exposed. But the only incoming attack is this disoriented shot here, and they do still have their ablative armor up. Is this a bad idea? Probably. We can take a shot here from cover. Maybe we just do that. Let's not unduly expose a soldier for no reason. Yeah, we'll just take this 57. Target still standing. Okay. Reinforcements. Uh, that looked like a fairly sizable group. Four. Alright, not a huge fan of that. Their position's kind of shit for them and us, but more for them because they're really flankable here. You hit the transmitter, you asshole. What a dick. All right. You can run and gun, kill this guy from close range. Probably gets crit bonuses, probably a good way to do it. Uh, 84, 74. We could ignore the shield bearer for this turn. We could reposition, we could get this loot. No flanks. If we take out everything in the back, or we just kind of let the shield bearer shoot us once, this is maybe not the worst. If we have good shots, we can probably pull some serial bullshit. Well, they're under high cover. Everybody's under high cover. Maybe going for the loot is just not even good here either. Remove the unconscious effect from a soldier. Ew. Then they might get killed. I assume this doesn't end the turn. Oh, uh, maybe. You can get some good positions. That's a flank on just him. You do not have running gun. You do have trench gun. Might be able to get a decent trench gun shot up. These two guys are like straight up in, in the position to get murdered by trench gun. 
So we just do that, right? Yeah. Whatever you say. That's one dude takes care of two dudes. Uh, unless it doesn't work because the cover is a thing. Yeah, well, you know. All right, well, let's hold off then. We can kill them with a, we can kill them with a flamethrower. We can just keep throwing things at them until something actually works the way we want it to. Uh, we could use this guy to get a shot this turn. He can actually get a flank up, which is not the worst thing in the world. Sniper, what do you have? 69 on the Advent Troopers, your best here. Honestly, I guess we take this. Because he's kind of tough. We might want to just stun him to buy another turn to deal with him later. Yeah, let's just try and get kills where we can get kills easily. Okay, nothing. Big whiff. Uh, you can position for a shotgun kill. Maybe we take him off with a shotgun. We're just kind of going to be flanked no matter where we go. Eighty three percent only, huh? Weapon range, really? We're just too far away? Fuck. I guess I should have went right on his ass. Okay. Doesn't matter he died anyway. Okay. Uh frag grenade we get plasma. Do you have It'll end your turn. Uh, your position's pretty good, so I might just have you sit. Five to nine, he might kill both of these dudes. And if he doesn't, this might also take care of the cover. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter at that point, because one of them is dead for sure. Okay, both of them die there. Good. Good, 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 good. Gator, uh, I think we run a gun and try to kill this guy. While he's still stunned. Nice. Stalker and Mangler. We have this guy up over here. Scorpion. You already repositioned. 53, 37. 47, 37. Trench gun. Can't do shit where you are. Uh, that was kind of bad, that repositioning. We could teamwork. Cyber. Uh, it does, it gets her in a, a flank. I'm not sure that's that necessary. And we got Fernando. We got Stalker. And Mangler, of course. Um. <sighs> 61. Fernando gets the flank on this guy. We can try to kill him with uh, something else then, like a grenade or something. Maybe he just kills him with the flank, honestly. Let's do this. Let's let's make this guy actually earn his keep a little bit more. Kill him with a crit. Just gets a graze. That's kind of worst case. 4 HP left on him. That's not, not great. Um, not a fan of any of this. 
Can we flamethrower him through cover? It looks like we can. Two to five damage only, then the fire damage should kill him. I guess what we do here is we go for the stun on him. 50%, it's the best odds we have on a shot. Okay. So we can ignore him. Cyber can burn this guy. Yeah, we can like advance to this car and burn him. Heading to that location. Stalker. We can flank or we can get the loot and just take a shot. I think we'll get the loot. It's not dangerous. We're undercover from this guy here if we do this. Advanced laser sights. Fairly mediocre, but whatever. 64%. 67 with a knife, which does like nothing. Uh, we'll take the shot. It is Shredder. Which would have been relevant. I must have miscalculated. Okay, I'll go. You can suppress. We're going to leave them down. I don't want them to die. Suppress and burn. Panic. All right. Hunkers. Cool. Give me the little dude in the back. Nice execution, dude. He was on his fucking knees. My god, dude. Alright. Um, reload. Why don't you hollow target for us? Um. Free reload. Yeah, you can light them up, huh? 67%? That's not that bad. We could light them up in the walk fire, right? Hundred percent. I guess we should probably uh do anything that can shred first. Ready to rock. Yeah, you can actually flank them. And shred. How the fuck did he graze that? If you say so. Sixty one. We'll hold back for the oh, you have a running gun available. Um, yeah, let's just run and gun this, I guess. That's the cleanest way to get the kill. Is just to get behind his ass. And nuke him from, uh, nuke him from orbit. Bye. Did you see that one? Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the All right. is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. I'll take it. We must never allow these dissidents to fill our hearts with fear. Their victory today is a minor footnote in history. A small buck. Elders chosen are incredibly resilient. Grave loon at 23 days, but you're not dead. That's the big thing. have much to learn if we wish to destroy them permanently. All right, buddy. Heat warheads, tandem warheads, dense smoke, hail of bullets. You have 20 AP there. Nice. Okay, what are you? Boosted course, heavy ordnance, and sapper. You're do the grenades, do the grenades, do the grenades. 
Pierce armor and shred on grenades. Seems like the thing to do. What else do you have? Lethal is pretty good. Uh, score kill, bonus move, hail of bullets, ever vigilant. Lone wolf and dead eye. Yeah, I think we just save up for lethal on this guy. So let's just do heat warheads here. All right, that's the only rank up we got, huh? 10 alloys, 10 crystals, death perception, core, laser sight, defense. All right, some more PCS. That's pretty good. Two days on magnetic weapons. Uh, the alloys and lyrium there are quite fucking welcome. Um, is there anything? There's nothing we can do here with just cores, right? Yeah. All right. First things first, we got some PCSs. We got defense. Let's just start. Yeah, we'll just go from the top of the list, basically, and see who needs stuff. You could use one. Your grenade boy. Not depth perception. Uh, body shield might be okay. If it's activated ability, like like it seems it is, that's probably a perfectly fine thing for a demolitionist to have. Also, he doesn't have anything that he can do for. Uh, on the same turn he throws a grenade out, then just move. Otherwise, we give him defense. I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give him body shield. That was uh, yeah, buddy. Stalker is done. Uh, sharpshooter. Got an assault, grenadier, wounded gunner, technical, ranger, you're all PCS'd up. You could use one, heavy weapon, suppression, maim, napalm, shredder, formidable, teamwork. We're looking at close encounters. You do have damn good ground. We could make you into an elevation thing. Return fire. Rupture? Like rupture with elevation shit? Maybe. Ignore close encounters, go for rupture. Return fire. Damn good ground. Let's do that. Yeah. Uh, do you have enough for damn good ground right now? Yes. Let's just pick this up. And then let's give you the elevation PCS as well. I forgot where we were. Who was who was that we were on? Well, I swear this thing doesn't move consistently, but maybe it's my imagination. Like I swear she was up here. And now she's down one more. I don't know. Maybe yeah, Lunilla was the one we did there. Um, technical Reaper. Specialist, you're infiltrating, just kidding. Shinobi, assault. Uh, nothing on this assault. You're an electroshock gunner. You're not the worst target, maybe, for than a defense PCS. Support role. Eh, sure. Run and gun defensive bonuses on somebody who puts themselves in danger is not bad. Um, then we have a hacking one available. Uh, I'm going to imagine that our hackers are all already kind of stack, uh, stacked up here. Yeah, so I'm guessing we're just going to kind of hang on to that. The Shinobis seem to have a little bit of hacking, which is interesting. Okay, so we'll just hold that one back. Okay, five hiding here. 
But I am afraid you bring them nothing but false hope, Commander. Oh, so those were our intel people that got, like, killed. Okay, let's put just a second person on intel then. We'll keep it at two, because maybe three is what triggered that with Advent Strength being at three. Um, and then you can have some sort of advisor back. You can take uh, this, this. Yeah, this ranger's got a lot of HP. That's fine. Okay. Uh, we could pop over to the black market real quick, see if they have anything we want to sell them. This is still very light. I'd like that to tick down below that. Just for safety's sake. So we're going to scan for a little bit somewhere. Uh, what do you want? You want my hair triggers? Honestly, not bad. We're sitting on a lot of these. They're kind of just filler. Yeah, take them. Take all five hair triggers that we have there. Especially because of the regular hair triggers. Oh, uh, shit, what was I going to just do? Oh, yes, Proving Ground. Let's see if we got a project we want to do now that we have some um, supplies. <sighs> we could do a Hazmat Vest or Bolt Caster, ultimately. Hazmat Vest would be the worst thing. We've got, like, one bonus vest. So we could start one of these, let it tick for 10 days. Don't have the Viper Corpse, don't have the Viper Corpse, don't have a Drone Wreck or a Muton. Skull Mining would be good, but that's 150 supplies. I'm going to do a Hazmat Vest here, I think, because this being idle is, is a missing opportunity. Now, I wouldn't mind having one of those on hand. Um, what else did the Black Market actually want? Nothing listed as interest. Okay, I guess maybe if we don't have the items, the interests don't show up. Uh, let's actually scan for healing now, since we've got a few more people injured. Alright, 200% infiltrate is still, still light. Uh, do you think, two, is 200% the max? Maybe 200% is the max. It wouldn't make sense. You're like double infiltrated. One day on magnetic weapons. It's been at... Okay, let's click this real quick. Uh, uh. Okay, magnetic weapons is done. Still 200%. Yeah, I think 200% is the cap, isn't it? It makes sense that it would be. Uh, let's grab... Yes. Fancy weapons. All right, we'll pop our new research thing here, then we'll do that mission. Uh, we'll pop mag, auto pistol, etc., 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 so on and so forth. Make shorty, shutter mag, enhanced shadow keeper. Oh, this is a lot of the fancy, the sidearms. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Faceless autopsy. That's a good one. Render, render. Decrypt a data pad actually might be really good here. It's also only two days. Faceless is five. Let's do the decrypt. 28 intel, because we might need that intel. I had assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. Uh, anything we can buy with the amount of supplies we currently have. AP rounds. More plasma grenades are good, too. Yeah, I don't think I'm willing to throw alloys in AP rounds right now. Tracers, crystals. Um, mag rifle. Thirty-two and two. What was a laser rifle by chance? Just out of curiosity. Oh, are they completely replaced and you can't build them anymore? Yeah, that's how that works, isn't it? Oh no, there they are. Twenty-one one. Thirty-two two. Can we not make the other K? We can't make the, the upgraded bullpup? Okay. 
I think also wouldn't mind more. S well, we can toggle out the skirmisher armor between the two skirmishers, so we don't buy the second one. We min max that. Um, do I buy a mag rifle here? Probably. That way we have it on hand and ready to go before the next month comes. Because if we're going to build these anyway, we might as well build it now. I think that makes sense. Let's do this mission. Two days to supply drop. All right. Location of Advent Regional HQ 24 Intel. Well, I guess we're getting intel from this, so the decrypt is probably less valuable, but it's, we only got the one other research project until we get supplies. Maybe we should have knocked out Faceless there. I suppose. Commander, this will be a two-pronged assault. First, we hack the heart of the Advent Tower and disrupt their network, but we'll have to move fast. If we can seize control of that data, Shen's cooking up a little surprise for them that should more than get their attention. Lock it down, secure the surrounding area, Two mother enemy security forces guarding the target. All goes well, they won't even see us coming. What a fun name. I'm just sitting here watching a loading screen that I can click off of. Alright. Five people. And hack in to seize the broadcast signal. Ah. Our position is concealed. Is that all we could bring? Might have been. Okay, so uh, this mission, from what I remember, is actually a unique base game mission, isn't it? I don't remember what it's part of, like what this leads into and does. Is this part of... It's been so long since I played base game XCOM, actually. Well, anyway, we'll be leaving this episode here. Until next time.